Hello and welcome to Isan Flicks and welcome back if you've been here before. I'm out once again on my motor scooter and we're on a very nice paved road to somewhere. I know I don't know where but uh, we'll find out when we get there. So until we get there, wherever it is, I thought I would talk a little bit about what I know on Isan. Now, what I'm going to tell you are only my observations and my opinions. It is said that around 40% of Thais earn their living from the land. And based upon what I have seen here in Uban Ratatani and other places in Isan, I fully agree with that. And that rice is their staple crop. Isan, as you may know, is bordered by Laos and Cambodia and is approximately a third of Thailand's land area and home to nearly one third of the population. It is also said Isan is the least most visited region in Thailand and maybe the poorest. Farming, of course, is the traditional livelihood here, despite the appalling infertile soil coupled with long periods of drought and then punctuated by downpours and the intermittent bouts of flooding. But with all that said, most farmers do survive and continue on farming. As you would have seen from my other videos, the landscape in my area is mostly flat. As I said, very few tourists visit Isan generally, but then they miss out on, in some ways, the most traditionally Thai region where there are plenty of lively festivals and ancient temples to visit. I first came here to Oba Ratatani almost 40 years ago and then the region was poor. Very little infrastructure, poor communications, but today there is everything that you need. There are now numerous excellent educational facilities, very good hospitals, clinics and dentists. There is great communication networks with super fast internet connections and all which comes from that. Then there's good water and power distribution networks and, and yes, at times electricity does go off during very heavy storms, but it is soon re-established, not like it was in the past. The poverty rate, from what I have seen, is much lower, but of course some people do struggle and household debt is high, but that can be said for almost anywhere these days.
I believe most people are families own land, but unfortunately not all the land is very productive. But fewer people than in the past are migrating south to Bangkok or other places to find work. Isan, in my opinion, plays a significant part in the economic and political development of Thailand, as Isan people are now much better educated than in the past, and with the better communication systems, are more informed generally on what is happening elsewhere, not just in Thailand, but worldwide. Isan people are not the unsophisticated peasants as they were once described but are now politically aware and empowered Thai citizens. The family is essential in Isan. One could argue that in the end everything the people in Isan do is intended to improve their family circumstances. Whether this means migrating for work or going deeper into debt, people in Isan strive to improve the living conditions of their families and to become more modern and successful. However, as an expert on Isan once said, you can take Isan people out of the villages, but you cannot take the villages out of Isan people. And that is not a bad thing, as Isan village life is Thai family life. My conclusion is, there is much more the government and the private sector can do to raise standards of living in Isan. But as this is an ongoing project, and after all, the, and after all changes do take time, but uh, a lot has been done to improve life in Isan over the past few decades, as I have witnessed and experienced through the years. I like Isan and I wouldn't change it but as I said at the beginning these are only my opinions and observations and suggest if you can one day come to Isan and see for yourself but uh, I would ask you to keep it a secret. But remember Isan is like Marmite you either like it or you don't there's lots of sun but no seashores with real sandy beaches. Nevertheless, I love it. I shall finish this video here, but if you did like what you saw, please think about giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share the video, but better still, subscribe to the channel to ensure you do not miss out on our other videos. So until next time, take care, and it's a bye-bye from me.